Richard Trevithick was born in Poole and grew up near Camborne where he went to school. His father was a mining captain, and Richard spent a lot of his time observing the great steam engines that were used to pump water from the mines. He took a keen interest in mathematics and engineering, and spent much of his time at school daydreaming and fantasizing of his future inventions. Once he finished school, he became a consulting engineer to the local mines. He made improvements to the mining equipment and began to create his own inventions to make mining easier. One of these inventions was the high pressure steam engine. Up until now, steam engines were extremely big and needed to be fixed to the ground to operate. Richard began thinking about what could be achieved if he could harness more power whilst making the engine smaller. By creating a smaller but stronger boiler to hold more steam, it would then hold more steam power. This smaller engine would be strong enough to power a piston which turned wheels, able to carry its own weight. Richard began working on prototypes, and on Christmas Eve in 1801, he finished his first steam-powered locomotive, nicknamed the Puffing Devil, the first of its kind. He took passengers aboard and drove up and down Camborne Hill. This is now traditionally celebrated on Trevithick Day as the Steam Parade, as well as the Bell Maidens and Miners Dance. After the success of his Puffing Devil, Richard received a lot of interest for his high-pressure boilers from all across the country. He moved on to developing a steam engine that could use the pre-existing tracks for donkeys and horses. Successfully creating an engine strong enough to pull multiple carriages filled with tons and tons of iron and passengers, but the tracks were not strong enough and ended up breaking after only a few trips. Although trying desperately on multiple occasions to show that his new steam engine with the right tracks would be invaluable, he failed to gain much attention. So he moved onwards to other inventions, such as the Iron Boy used to raise sunken ships. Though this didn't end well either, after successfully raising a sunken ship, the captain, after seeing how easily Richard's invention managed to do it, decided not to pay him. And in a defiant display of strength, Richard broke the chains holding the ship up with an axe and resunk the ship once again. Richard was having poor luck trying to sell his groundbreaking inventions. He was too ahead of his time and could not achieve the success that he truly deserved. He decided to set his sights for South America, where his high pressure steam engines could be used to pump water out of the submerged silver mines in Peru. The mines were so high up that the altitude made regular steam engines useless, and Richard knew his inventions could do the job. He set sail to South America, sailing all the way around past Cape Horn and up the western coast. He traversed the Andes Mountains with donkeys carrying his steam engine parts and helped set up and assist many mines in Peru. Richard ended up doing many different things in South America, from pearl fishing in Costa Rica to being chased by alligators in Ecuador. This could be one of the reasons he decided to return back to Cornwall. Richard's inventions were pivotal to the Industrial Revolution, shaping transport into what it is today and enabling the creation of new industries. Though I have been called mad by my fellow engineers, I feel great pride in my heart knowing that I have developed something great.